Dylan. Yeah. Dylan and Warhol knew how to handle the press. And of course the Beatles knew how to handle the press. And this was all part of the 60s was these people were old and they were in the way and they had absolutely no clue what made Andy important. And they knew how to play to that. And, yeah. and, and I, answer stupid questions. Well, you know, my, my own personal experience is here I am. I got a stack of photographs that I'd taken of Andy. And he's in Massachusetts, I don't know, six weeks after I'd taken the photographs. I had them all carefully mounted and they're signed beautifully. I'm full of myself because I'm 19 years old and I've taken photographs of a celebrity. And of course, most of the photographs weren't that good. But some of them were, but most of them weren't. And I give them to Andy and he shuffles, I'm going through them. And he's pretending, and he's being nice. He's pretending he cares, he clearly doesn't. He's sort of looking over the photographs and glancing at, wow, Ron, these are terrific, these are terrific. And there's a bunch of guys from the press Asking them really stupid questions, you know, like why are, they're still asking him at this point, why are soup cans art, you know, crap like that. And he's getting really bored with it. And at one point he says, he looks at the, he's, my photographs because he needs a name. He's, why don't you ask Ron about me? He knows more about me than I do. So the guy says to me, how long have you been working for Andy Warhol? I was 19 years old. I said, 15 years. The guy just keeps asking me questions and reports every lie that I've written. And the next day I got to hear it on the radio. Oh. And in the meantime, Andy has taken the photographs and disappeared into the crowd.